some odd sounds in his breathing. Discontinuous sounds. Roni, did you get that one? Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Discontinuous sounds. On top of S1 and S2, I can hear some additional heart rhythms, S3 and S4. Roni, jot this down. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. S3 and S4. KG. Let's check this guy's heart. Understood, Doctor. Beginning preparations. Deep. This isn't the activity of a normal heart. Roni, write that down somewhere. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Abnormal Q waves. are showing negativity in this portion. How bizarre. Roni, add that to the list. Understood, Doctor. 
New symptom observed. Negative T waves. blood pressure is unusually low. Roni, add that to his file. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Low blood pressure. P level in his blood is abnormally high. Roni, that's worth recording. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High BNP level. symptoms until now, there seems to be an abnormality in the myocardium. Roni, get us approval for an x-ray. Yes, Doctor. Beginning the approval process. Request complete. The x-ray examination is now available. the images, Doctor. All right, let's take a look at them. Dr. Cunningham, I must explain the details of this examination to you. An X-ray examination is the most common radiography. Using electromagnetic radiation called X-rays, it can produce images of the inside of the human body. You don't say. 
can't believe I'm getting lectured on x-rays at my age. His heart's too large. There's definitely an abnormality after all. To look at the movement of the myocardium, an echocardiogram would be ideal. Hey, Roni, you think you'll sit through the exam? Doctor, I'm required to remind you that a patient's consent is needed before examination. Ugh, I knew you'd say that. Well, we can always narrow down the list of candidates again if we need to persuade him. But let's try going to the exam room, just in case. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Enlarged heart. So, we found an abnormality in your heart after all. And that means our next step is to proceed with echocardiography. I refuse. How dare you treat me like some leper? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Stubborn as usual. Well, then let's talk about your past. What happened to you two years ago? <laughs> so you aren't gonna tell me about that either, huh? Nothing. Well then, I'm stumped. I guess I'll have to find a hint from the information I've got.
symptoms seem to all add up. Dilated cardiomyopathy. That's one serious disease. Echocardiography is absolutely necessary to properly diagnose dilated cardiomyopathy. Yeah, but we'll need some strong evidence if we're going to convince him. Wait, a relevancy to viral myocarditis. Don't tell me that's what happened two years ago. Doctor, should we return to the examination room? Yeah, damn old geezer. This isn't funny anymore. You again, you quack? I will not let you examine me. Yeah, that's fine. I've got a plan this time, too. A what? What kind of scheme are you running here? I don't know. Just toying with the thought of leaking some interesting facts to the press? A certain politician who had viral myocarditis two years ago and collapsed due to heart disease. What? What? what you bastard. How the hell do you know about me? Bingo, huh? So it was viral myocarditis then. What? Don't tell me. Did you? Hmm? Oh yeah, I lied to you. I needed confirmation that it was indeed viral myocarditis two years ago. You bastard! How dare you! Who do you think I am? I'm not putting up with this any longer! I'm leaving! Hey! Shut the hell up! I will not hear another word out of you! That's it! Huh? Now you listen to me! It doesn't matter who you are or what kind of powers you have! I'm a doctor, and as long as you're sitting in front of me, you're nothing more than a patient. Now, if you understand me, then shut up and let me do my job. <sighs> Roni, send a request for echocardiography. We've got a date with the image analysis lab. Request sent, doctor. The echocardiography is now available. <laughs> Roni, is the echocardiogram ready? Yes, Doctor. It is ready for you to review. All right. Let's take a look-see. Dr. Cunningham, I will now provide you with more information on this examination. Echocardiography is a technique of using ultrasonic waves to form an image of the heart. This examination is a safe and essential tool for observing heart irregularities and diseases. Thanks, I had no idea. I mean, it wasn't my decision to run this exam on him, but whatever. Doctor, I'm sorry, did you say something? <sighs> no, no, carry on. Get back to my office and decide on a diagnosis. Okay, we got all the symptoms, Roni. It's time to decide on a diagnosis. Yes, Doctor. Please narrow down the possible diagnosis candidates.
So it is dilated cardiomyopathy. Looks like the worst case scenario has come true. Diagnosis complete. Well done, doctor. Shall we notify the patient? Yeah. I'll uh, tell him myself. So, have you found out what's wrong with me yet? Uh, <clears throat> well, yeah. So what is it, son? What's wrong with me? Dilated cardiomyopathy. It's a disease where the heart muscle weakens. The myocarditis from two years ago is the likely cause of it. Uh, is it curable? When can I get back to the office? There's a 50% chance you'll last five years. Ten years, maybe 30%. You need a heart transplant. Stop worrying about work. Don't be ridiculous! Listen up, son. This country's in a pretty tight spot. It won't last without the honest folk at the range guiding it. Please, I love this nation, and I need to help save it. <sighs> Unfortunately, saving your life will have to come first. Take my advice. Move out to the country and wait for a donor. I heard Assistant Secretary Tillman has cardiomyopathy. Yeah. Can't we do anything? Maybe beta blockers or angiotensin. <laughs> you want someone who could die any second running the country? Uh. He may live, but his political career is over. We can't do anything? He's so passionate about his work. Medicine has its limits, and passion doesn't save lives. If that's all, I'm gonna get going. Oh, uh, wait. I need to talk to you about Joshua. Shouldn't you be talking to the kid's family? Isn't Joshua your son, Doctor? Boy hardly knows my face. It's not much of a father. But, Dr. Cunningham... It's over. Sometimes you need to learn when to give up. <laughs>